smaller than I expected. Contra. What the? What the? The fuck is this? What the fuck is Contra? I ordered contraband stuff. I tried to order a shotgun illegally because I don't have permits, but what the fuck is Contra? Where the fuck is my shotgun? Let's see if my football's empty in the future. Bitch. Hey, all you awesome people around YouTube. I love you all. Looking good. Uh, I would appreciate it if you'd like this video and smash that subscribe button right down there. That would be fucking awesome. I love you. Did I say that already? Well, here goes again. I love you. Well, that was the most insincere I've ever been on this channel. I think I actually kind of threw up a little in my mouth. Hey you fucks, let's open Contra Anniversary Collection. Now what is Contra? Well, I'll tell you what Contra is. It's the lamer version of Robotector that we got here in Europe. Now I know some of you are gonna go like, it was the censored version cause real men dying on screen was, you know, too scary for us here in Europe. But that's actually not true. Robots are actually much more scarier. That's why we got robots cause we ain't no pussies. Like, Everyone outside Europe. I mean, just think about it. Sure, in movies, humans always conquer their killer robots, but movies are stupid. In real life, though, things are a bit different. I mean, have you ever heard in real life that someone has been bragging how they killed a Terminator? You know, seen anyone in a pub or drunk yelling, I fucked up Terminator, fuck Skynet. No, you haven't, because that hasn't happened. How do I know? Because people are fucking stupid. They brag about everything they can. And that's a thing I would fucking brag about, and so would you. But killer robots though, when they win, and they always do, they don't brag about that stuff. They know better than not draw attention to themselves, you know? That would be stupid. I mean, just think about it. If there was a killer robot out there who'd go on fucking Twitter like Hashtag kill the man Hashtag Skynet rules Hashtag take over the world We'd be all over them, you know, there would be nukes flying and shit like that. They have artificial intelligence, keyword intelligence. Anyway, that's why Probotector is the manlier version. So, you know, fuck you rest of the world and yay Europe. So let's unbox Contra Anniversary Collection, which has uh, all the Contra games. Well, not all the Contra games, but all the older Contra games. I believe the 8-bit and 16-bit Contra games. If somebody doesn't know what Contra games are, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Well, unless you're European, then you might mix it to Robotector, which also is in this package. Let's go over the games that are inside this package. There's Contra Arcade, Super Contra, Contra North American version, Contra Japanese version, because they got the lame version too. There's Super C, which is short for, I don't know, Super Chlamydia. Contra Tree Alien Wars Operation C, which I guess is a straight sequel to Super C, because now they're operating on the Chlamydia. And then there's Contra Hard Corps, Super Probotector Alien Rebels, and Probotector. So this one has the superior European versions too, which is great. And yes, this is from Limited Run Games, and uh, it has one of these uh, NES style uh, covers, which I fucking love. I mean, these are fucking great. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I have here. There! That's the original Probotector here in Europe. Uh, would be Contra anywhere else, but you know, Europe. It has that NES style cover, which I fucking love. These are so goddamn cool. I do dig these. I, I, I love when limited run games or any other. Well, I don't know if any other place does these covers, but when limited run games does this, you know. Now, obviously, there was a bigger collector's edition or something like that from this. I do remember that, but. For budgetary reasons, I had to go with this cheaper version, which is basically this NES cover, and uh, there's some shit inside this. You're about to see it when I open this. Also, it says back here, warning, if you have epilepsy or have had seizures or other unusual reactions to flashing lights or patterns, consult a doctor before playing video games. 
I gotta ask, has anyone ever actually consulted a doctor, you know, over video games if they can play those? I'd imagine that's quite painful for the doctor. First of all, these are not the easiest games and the only way the doctor's gonna know if there's something flashing too much is to play through these games. You know, if you're demanding your doctor to play through these games, there's 10 games and these are one of the hardest games in history of mankind. Well, you're being kind of a fucking cunt. Let's open this. Here we go. Got the condom off. And, uh, yep, here's the box. Uh, there's the back of the box, if you can see it. There's the games, there. Uh, all the games that are in here. There's just some fucking jargon and there's a couple of pictures from the games. Ooh, there's even uh, one picture from Robotector. That's, uh, that's the Super Nintendo Super Protector Alien Rebels. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like... Oh. Well, I'll be damned. Looks like I have Super Pro Protector too. Alien Rebels. Fucking fantastic game. Anyway, let's see what's inside here. Oh, this comes off. Kind of stupid. Well, this actually looks more like the NES because it doesn't have the fucking uh, the red Nintendo Switch thing there. You know, this is just like an NES uh, cover. So yeah, let's just see here first what we have here. Is the game Super Contra? Super Contra, Contra Anniversary uh, Collection. I do have the Castlevania Collection thing too from Konami, which is fucking awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I I do love these because Konami games for the NES and Super Nintendo, those were the shits. I mean, god damn it, those were great games. Those were one of the best games. They still are one of the best games ever made. I stand by that. There was also a third one uh, package coming, which had like the Gradius games and Salamander games. Oh, I really wanted that, but uh, my budget was fucking tight. I had to skip that. I could buy it later, but knowing the prices, because you know, all the scalpers got those and I don't think they make those physical versions anymore. So, you know, uh, it's probably gonna cost an arm and a leg, so I might have to skip that, which fucking sucks. Ooh, back here, there's the famous Konami code, if you can see there, you know, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A. That's how you got more lives? Fuck, I haven't used that code. I think it was more lives, yeah. Ooh, look at that. What else do we have here? It looks like a poster. I'm pretty sure it's a poster. They always stick like fucking posters in this. And yes, it's a double-sided poster. This is kind of cool. Contra Anniversary Collection could be Probotector because we're in Europe, but no, no, they had to go with the weaker version. You know, the one without killer robots. This is kind of cool though. I do love this, you know. It is pretty badass. But behind here, I kind of like this one more. I don't know if you can tell the fucking uh, lamp is uh, distracting. It's shiny and shit, but uh, I hope you can see something. This one. There's, it's just a action picture. There's isn't that the dude from uh, Iron Maiden, the fucking uh, logo mascot the band had? It looks like it, kinda, you know, a little bit. Eddie? It was Eddie. Yeah, I don't know, but that's a cool picture. Only problem with this picture is it doesn't say Contra Anniversary Collection anywhere. I kind of like when they put the title in there too, just you know, not too confuse people. I don't know, someone like grandma comes over. I mean, they don't know shit about games, although my grandma's dead. So if she came over and wanted to ask me about a poster that doesn't have the name of the game, I'd, I'd probably try to uh, shoot her in the head. I like my grandma though, you know, when she was alive. But, you know, you have to face facts. If she were to come back, she would obviously be a zombie. So bullet through the brain is a way to deal with zombies, so it's not like I'm shooting my grandma for fun. Well, shooting zombies is kind of thing I always kind of wanted to do, but well, I wouldn't enjoy that as much as other zombies. Also, we have here this uh, dust cover, which uh, NES games have, you know, it's the limited run, which you probably seen if you watch my other unboxing videos from limited run that have those NES covers, you've probably seen this a million times. I guess one more time won't hurt, you know, I'll show it. It's like this, you know, you put the game there. I have here a NES game in the Nintendo dust cover, so same thing, except slimmer, because Switch games are slimmer. But what else? 
Ooh, and uh, apparently this is the last thing here. Yep, it's all just cardboard. And this one is soundtrack. Uh, selected soundtrack, so it's not every song, it's just most of the songs, I'm guessing. Or some of the songs, I'm not even sure it's most of the songs. I mean, it's 10 games, so that's a lot of songs. But there is uh, 36 tracks, so it's quite a few songs. I mean, holy shit. You wanna read them? There they are, you know, just pause the screen and read them. Great! All done reading up. There's the, you know, title, Contra Arcade. What is this place? Super C Arcade. Okay. Thunder Landing, Super C FC. Game over, Contra Arcade. Bunch of songs from the games. I don't actually remember the soundtrack to Contra games, so I have no idea how good this was, if this was any good, but. I, I do remember uh, vaguely something from the first Contra game, because that's the one I've been, I've, been, I've been playing the most, so I think it had kind of kick-ass soundtrack. Konami games usually did have kick-ass soundtracks, like in the 8-bit era at least, and 16-bit era too, from what I remember, so... Actually, I think Konami games have always kind of had kick-ass soundtracks, you know, Silent Hill games had fucking awesome soundtracks, Metal Gear Solid games, had fucking masterpiece soundtracks. And that was all the stuff that was inside this Contra Anniversary Collection package. I hope you enjoyed this video, and click that like and subscribe, and I fucking love you. You dicks. I'm lying. I don't even know you. How the hell am I supposed to know you? You're there, I can't even see you. Some of you don't even comment, so... I have no fucking idea, you don't build bridges just by watching and jacking off, you also need to comment. Actually, I don't even wanna know every one of you, because some of you are probably weird, deviants, sexual deviants, because you're watching this channel, so you know, you can't be all there. Anyway, I'm gonna go and uh, keep an eye on my grandma and kill robots. I don't wanna fuck with those, you know? But I, if I manage to destroy one of them, you'll be sure to hear about it. Mango Psycho in a local pub claims he killed a Terminator. Fuck Skynet! <laughs>